Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. Getting lost in a crowd is a personal choice. While some like the obscurity it provides, others want to be in the center of things. But you can't deny that getting lost in a crowd has its advantages and lets you discover a thing or two about yourself. While you may believe that getting lost in a crowd offers you a semblance of privacy while being right there in the middle of it all, it's more of a mental framework that lets you be yourself and not worry about who may judge you. Everyone is busy with their own life and your existence is in no way dependent on the attention of others. That should help alleviate the pressure of expectations. But I'm sure you have certain expectations of yourself and that you can't deny. Being self-conscious sometimes can be a bane than a boon. It may leave you in doubt and steal your comfort away. While we all love to interact and communicate, there are times when you'd rather be just with your thoughts, even in the midst of everyone and everything that's happening around you. You just don't want to react, interact and be within yourself. There's a certain peacefulness and solitude when you do that and it helps you get in better touch with your inner self. On the flip side, some want to be a part of the crowd, to interact and share their thoughts and opinions. Even if you like getting lost, there are times when you'd rather not. And when you do want to be seen and are not, you feel invisible. And that's not a pleasant feeling at all. When you want to be invisible is one thing, and when you don't, it's an uphill battle in a crowd too. In instances where you want to be seen and heard, you tend to show up too often to grab attention and shout louder to be heard. When you do experience that others are seeing and hearing you, but just don't react, you still feel invisible and that can be frustrating too. What do you do then? Shout louder? Interact more? Try something different to grab attention? A lot of businesses do just that, but all this only hurts your self-worth. It's time you see inwards for what you need to change before you change it. Operate from a center of excellence and don't worry about visibility so long as you believe in what you do and offer. Listen to your inner authority and follow it. It'll attract the right attention at the right time. You don't have to be or pretend to be someone you're not. When you live within your comfort and exude your uniqueness, the world is bound to take notice. Know that you just need to pay heed to your comfort needs, practice what you believe and let your uniqueness shine through. Then you're in control of your visibility and invisibility in a crowd. Hey, I hope you liked this episode. Go check out the others and you'll find inspiring content there as well. And do share and subscribe and make sure you spread the word. Thank you.